Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, yeah, hello. It's time for Advanced Class 52. Getting things started with a review of what we were talking about in the last day. It depends on. It depends on. It depends on. Always the same. It depends on. If you say, depende del tiempo. It depends on the weather. Okay, it depends on, well, uh, how fast, well, how, how expensive will the car be? Well, it depends on which car you buy. It depends on when you request it. It depends on where you go. It depends on how the weather is. It depends on what the weather is like. It depends on the boss's personality. It depends on who you ask. It depends on my mood. It depends on my mother. It depends on. It depends on. It depends on. Never of. On. Always. It depends. Okay? Because when we're speaking in the present and the subject is it, it is third person singular, so it depends with an S. Okay? Depende de lo que quieras. It depends what you want. Depende de cuan, cuando termines. It depends when you finish. Now, it depends on when you finish. Or, it depends when you finish. But never of. Okay? It depends on. You can always be, you can always be safe by saying on. It depends on when you finish. With those question words, immediately following depend, well, always conjugated with the S, depends. When you have a question word, it depends what. You don't have to say on. You don't have to say it depends on what you want. You can simply say it depends what you want. It depends when you finish. Depende de cuanto tengas. It depends en casa, en voz alta. It depends how much you have. Right. Or it depends on how much you have. Depende de donde vivas. It depends where you live. Or it depends on where you live. Depende de como lo hagas. It depends how you do it. Or it depends on how you do it. All right. Very good. Next, again with the review from yesterday, we were talking about and we practiced Translation List 4. Translation. Yes, so here we are with Translation List 4. This appears on page 8 of your translation book, the Gymnasia Grammatical, your advanced level translation book. So let's give it a shot. Number 1. Como regla general, prefiero dejar a mi gente sola. As a general rule, I prefer to leave my people alone. As a general rule, I prefer to leave my people alone. Number two, que yo sepa, no ha habido cambios. As far as I know, there haven't been any changes. As far as I know, que yo sepa, as far as I know, there haven't been any changes. Number three, en cuanto a mí, puedes hacer lo que quieras. As far as I'm concerned, you can do whatever you want. Number four, en el mejor de los casos, tenemos suficiente dinero para llegar a mayo. At best, we have enough money to get to May. At best. Yes. No better than that, but May. Yeah, that's about as late as we can go. Number five, tuvimos la oportunidad de hablar detenidamente sobre el asunto. We had the chance to speak at length about the matter. We had the chance to speak at length about the matter. Number six, ¿eres consciente de qué podría ocurrir si fueras adelante con esa idea? 
¿Eres consciente de lo que podría ocurrir si fueras adelante con esa idea? Are you sure of what could happen if you went ahead with that idea? Are you sure? It's dangerous. Are you sure you're aware of what could happen if you went ahead with that idea? All right. Number seven, hemos tardado meses en romper el hielo. It's taken us months to break the ice. Romper el hielo, to break the ice. Very good. Number eight, volverás con las manos vacías. Ya verás. You'll come back empty-handed. You'll see. Ya verás. You'll see. You'll come back empty-handed. You'll see. Number nine. Tenemos que partir de cero otra vez. We have to start from scratch again. We have to start from scratch again. Mm -hmm. Number ten. A la larga, todo saldrá bien. In the long run, everything will turn out fine. In the long run, everything will turn out fine. And number 11, mientras tanto, quiero que hagas esto. In the meantime, I want you to do this. In the meantime, mientras tanto, in the meantime, I want you to do this. Number 12, en nombre del presidente, quiero expresar nuestro agradecimiento por... On behalf of the president, I want to express our appreciation for... Very good. On behalf. On behalf. B-E-H-A-L-F. On behalf of the president, I want to express our appreciation for... Lo que sea. All right. How did you do? We had 12 examples there. Did you get all 12 out of 12? I hope so. Are you following along? No problem? Good. Expression of the day. All right, it's time for our expression of the day. Our expression of the day today is spick and span, which means very clean. Spick and span. I like to keep my bathroom spick and span. My kitchen is not always spick and span, but I try to keep it that way. I try to keep it clean. I have some roommates, compañeros de piso, and we work together to keep it clean, to keep it spick and span. means very clean, to keep it clean, to keep something clean, spick and span. It's spick and span. The bathroom is spick and span. This room is spick and span because there's a cleaning lady who comes in here every night and does a very thorough cleaning job. So this room is completely spick and span. It really is, yes. All right, now it's time to talk about an interesting structure, which is in charge of. To be in charge of. Okay? Because in Spanish, you, you say el responsable de, who is in charge of sales, for example. Who's in charge of sales in this company? Who's in charge of the government? Who's in charge of this project? So please never say who is the responsible. No, 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 no. Responsible is an adjective. He is a responsible person. Hopefully, whoever's in charge of the project is responsible. They're, they should be a responsible person, and they can be responsible for something. To be responsible for something. Everyone is responsible for something. I'm responsible for running, for, for hosting this radio show. I'm in charge of hosting the show. I'm responsible for it. Okay, sure. But I'm in charge of it, we say. Who's in charge of Who's in charge of the government? Zapatero is in charge of the government. Who's in charge of doing your homework? You are. You're in charge of doing your homework. I can't do it for you. You're in charge of... Everyone is in charge of doing their own homework. Who's in charge of making an effort to learn English? 
You are. That's right. You're in charge of making an effort to learn English. No one can make that effort for you. You have to do it. Who's in charge of doing your laundry? I don't know. I don't know who's in charge of doing your laundry. Ask me who's in charge of doing my laundry. Hey, Kyle, who's in charge of doing your laundry? I am. I'm in charge of doing my own laundry. Yes. Who's in charge of asking these questions? I am. I'm in charge of asking these questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge of the Vaughn Master? The Vaughn Master. Richard Bradley. He's in charge of the Vaughn Master. Yeah. Ultimately, Richard, R Richard Vaughn is in charge of really all the Vaughn products and programs, but um, there are different department heads, yes. So who would be in charge of watering your plants if you went away? Your mother? Your sister? You can't count on me because I'm not good at watering plants. I'm not good at taking care of plants. You shouldn't leave me in charge of watering plants if you go away because your plants might die. Someone who's good with plants, we say, has a green thumb. To have a green thumb, it means you're good with plants. Mm -hmm. Now, who would be in charge of asking these questions if I were ill today? Who would be in charge of asking these questions if I were ill? Maybe Alberto? Maybe Richard Brown? Who would be in charge of asking these questions? I'm sure we would find someone else to ask the questions, but for now, I will be in charge of asking these questions. It's quite a responsibility. Yes. Now, who would be in charge of answering your phone if you weren't at home? Your brother? Your sister? Who would be in charge of answering the phone? We have a receptionist here upstairs who's in charge of answering the phone. When she's not here, I believe the studio technicians answer the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's in Ask me who's in charge of recruiting teachers for Vaughn Systems. Kyle, who's in charge of recruiting teachers for Vaughn Systems? Fitz, who you know from the television. Fitz is in charge of recruiting teachers for Vaughn Systems. Ask me who's in charge of the Canadian government. Kyle, who's in charge of the Canadian government? Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper is in charge of the Canadian government, yeah. Ask me who's in charge of taking care of my father when he's ill. Kyle, who's in charge of taking care of your father when he's ill? My mother. My mother's in charge of taking care of my father when he's ill. Sure. Ask me who's in charge of cleaning my apartment every week. Kyle, who's in charge of cleaning your apartment every week? I am. I'm in charge of cleaning my apartment, yes. Ask me who's in charge of making my bed. Kyle, who's in charge of making your bed? I am. I'm in charge of making my own bed. Sure. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. That's right. Our five words of vocabulary for the day. The first word, subrayar. To underline. To underline. Very good. Yes, to underline. Regla para medir. This was this word appeared in the vocabulary in, in in the beginner vocabulary a long time ago, but people tend to forget this word. Regla para medir ruler. Ruler. Very good. Escasez. Scarcity. Scarcity. If something becomes scarce, then there is a scarcity. Water is scarce. There is a scarcity of water in some places. Vergüenza. Shame. 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 Very good. Make sure you, you, you make that SH sound properly. Sh shame. Vergonzoso. Shameful. What shameful behavior. He was behaving shamefully shameful. All right, very good. All right, now we have the structure, it's worth it. Vale la pena? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? 
is it worth it? And, and this is a structure that so many of my students have problems with. To be worth. It is worth it. So that first it, you know, th- this isn't an expression really. This is just simply a verb to, well, to be worth. And then we have the use of pronouns, it. And it is representing something that it always represents. It's representing something that is known, something that is understood. So we're substituting the pronoun in. So the first it represents what we're contemplating getting. And the second it represents what we give up. So if I say I have an offer to go to I don't know, to go to Malaga for a weekend, including the Ave, tickets on the Ave, two nights in a hotel, and all my food paid for, for 150 euros. Then I, and then I would say, and someone says, Kyle, is it worth it? Is it worth it? The first it being the trip with the food in the hotel. It, basically, what we're saying is, is the trip with the food in the hotel worth 150 euros? So the first it is what we're getting. The second it is what we're giving up. And I would say, yes, it is worth it. It is worth 150 euros. It's not worth 1,000 euros, but it is worth 150 euros. It is worth it. Yes, it's worth it. So... um do you, do you think it's worth buy? Do you think we here we can say, is it worth buying a Metro Pass every month? For me, it is. For me, it is worth buying a Metro Pass every month. It being the cost, because it costs me I think forty six euros a month, but it is worth it. The Metro Pass is worth forty six euros to me. It is worth it. I'm thinking about studying Turkish for 3,000 euros for an intensive course. Is it worth it? No. Probably you would say, no, Kyle, it's not worth it. Because 3,000 euros is very expensive for a Turkish course. It's only a one-week course, but apparently a good one. But no, it's too expensive, Kyle. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. So it's worth it to be worth. It's worth it. And in the negative, it's not worth it. I would love to continue talking about this, but we are out of time. So I'm going to finish, but we'll come back tomorrow, same time, same place, and I'll talk about this because I think it's worth discussing. Okay? Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>